This video is to describe a card game called 853, also called Sergeant Major. It's a very cool game, you'll get addicted to it once you start. So you don't need a score, get rid of our scorecard. All you need is a normal 52 deck of cards, you don't need the Joker, so we'll get rid of that. So I'll shuffle the cards and then deal out 16 to each player in groups of four. One for the kitty. Okay, now we all look at our cards. I've turned the cards over so that you can see them. Obviously, when you're playing the game, you would not show the cards. So this is a game of tricks. And the dealer is going to be the one that gets to call trumps. So I would say hearts should be trumps. So I'll call hearts trumps. Now I'll look in the kitty. And wonderful for trumps okay not really so I get to put these four cards into my hand and then decide which cards to throw out back into the kitty so I'll just throw these ones out into the kitty okay now the reason this game is called 853 is because the dealer has to get eight tricks. The next person has to get five tricks. And the last person has to get three tricks. So this is the contract, this is the aim that you're trying to get. Now, the dealer has the advantage of having the kitty and being able to call trumps. This player has the advantage of being able to lead off first. And this player has the advantage of only having to get three tricks. Now for each trick, one player plays a card. So let's say they play the um, Ace of Clubs. Everyone has to follow suit if they can. So this one will play the 10 and he'll play the six. And the highest card in the suit that was led wins. So the Ace wins. So that's one trick over here. Now the person leads off again, so maybe we'll try the Ace of Spades. Um, play a spade, and a spade, and what do you know, they want a second trick. Maybe we'll try another club. Club, club, they want a third trick. Oh, let's try clubs again. Okay, now this person hasn't got any clubs. So now they're free to play a trump if they want to. So let's play a trump. So now this person is winning the trick because they've played a trump. And trump, any card of a trump, beats the club that was led. But now the dealer can over trump. So he'll just play a jack. Jack beats a 10, now the dealer wins, and now it's the dealer's turn to lead off with a trick. So maybe we'll try with a spade, see if we can get the ace out. No, oh, actually the ace has already been played, that was a silly lead. And so on. Play continues until all the tricks are played. So now we've finished the round and we'll count up the tricks. So the dealer who had to get eight tricks has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's missed out by two. The next player who had to get five has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one extra trick. And the player that got three, one, two, three, four. They got one extra trick. So both this person and this person got one extra trick than was required. And that means next round, they get a benefit. They, this is where the game gets interesting. 
So we'll deal the cards for the next round. So now the dealer, the five tricks and the three tricks player moves around and we'll see what happens the second round. The cards have been dealt. The new dealer here, last round he got six when he only had to get five. So he gets to swap one card now. And he gets to swap the one card with the person who got less than they wanted, which is this player. This player was trying to get eight, but they only got six. So looking at this card, I would say the new dealer would probably swap a spade and see if he can get a better spade. So he gives the spade to the deal to the this player. This player has to look at all of his spades and find the best spade. In this case it's an ace. So I did a good job. And put it back into that player's hand. And then the next the, the person who has to get the next fewest cards that gets their turn. So this is the new five trick player. They got one extra trick last time than they had to. They got four tricks when they had to get three. So they also get to swap. So not sure. Maybe they think their diamonds are a bit weak. So we'll swap a diamond again with the player who got too few, which was this player. So the diamond goes over here and the best diamond gets sent back. So now that we've finished swapping cards, now the dealer can nominate trumps. So the dealer says, say spades this time will be trumps. And then we can pick up the kitty. <laughs> Hearts would have been much better. Anyway, pick up the kitty and play resumes as normal. So the dealer decides to throw out these cards into the kitty and play starts with the person who was dealt to so maybe they'll start with the ace of clubs we'll have to follow suit over here oh dealer has no clubs so we can trump with a spade dealer wins that trick dealer can lead off with a heart etc. Now play continues until any player manages to get 12 tricks then they're the winner. Um, another way of declaring the winner would be if anybody gets five tricks more than what they're aiming for. So there's two alternate ways of working out who the winner is you can choose before you start the game which one you want to use. But that's it. You just keep playing round after round. Often one person starts to get an advantage and they keep taking cards off other players and get more and more of an advantage until they get so far ahead that they'll win the, the five extra tricks or they'll win the twelve tricks, whichever you've decided is the way to end the game. But this is a great game for three card players. There's very few games that work well with three players. You don't need a score pad and you don't need to adjust the deck other than taking out the jokers. It's a good game for learning how to do tricks. There's no no trumps. Um, there's no bowers, no, no special jacks. It's just ace high down to two being the lowest in every suit. So it's a very simple game, but good fun. I hope you enjoy it.